Hey guys, I'm Delano Romero, CEO and founder of Damage Control Mouth Guards, and this video is part two of making a mouth guard on a thermoforming machine. And uh, in this video, we're gonna make a, a mouth guard with the exact same teeth models as the previous video in part one. Uh, we're gonna be making it in a Drev Drufamat machine. Uh, these are the top of the line machines that you can get for making custom fit mouth guards and uh, they're called Drev Drufamat scans. They're German machines and we have literally produced thousands of mouth guards uh, from in each machine that we have here. And uh, so they're pretty cool machines. They have a scan on the top where, you know, if you have a four millimeter sheet, um, what you do is you scan it and what it does automatically is it sets the time that uh, your sheet needs and uh, it sets the heat time and then it sets the cool down time. However, we found out since we're at high altitude, we're at 5,000 feet here in Albuquerque, uh, we kind of had to tweak that. It's not accurate. Maybe it's accurate in sea level, but it's never been accurate for us, but it's still a cool feature. But that's just what I wanted to point out this machine is that you don't have to uh, worry about keeping an eye on the sheet dropping. Uh, it's, you set the time and you set the cool down time and you could literally walk away from the machine to the next day and you're not going to have to worry about any fire hazards or anything of that sort. But like I said, this is a really great machine. Um, you place the EVA sheet here. This goes in and right here, as you can see, uh, is the heat coil and then that places right over the sheet and Vic will demonstrate to you how this operates. So now Vic is cutting it with a heat knife. And like I said in the last video, if you're gonna use a heat knife, make sure you're in a well ventilated place. You could use scissors too, or you could use a scalpel knife and you could heat it up with a blowtorch. Uh, but we find this way to be the most efficient for us. Okay guys, so we're back and we had made uh, this particular mouth guard with our Drev Drufamat machine. And as you can see, um, we got a much better imprint into the material as a result of using um, high pressurized uh, versus vacuum forming. If you haven't checked out our previous video, we made uh, this exact mouth guard on the exact same teeth models on vacuum forming and we'll show you here in a second uh, the side-by-side -side comparison on uh, the vacuum forming machine and the pressurized Drev Drufanat machine. As you can see we have a much better imprint on the red than we do the black. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't watched our previous video, uh, part one, please do so. As you can see, the different methods that are used uh, making mouth guards with two different machines.